Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natoya and I am back with another video. As you can tell from the title, I will be trying to make the mango nata drink for the very first time because it's taco night and I thought what would be a perfect pairing with tacos. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm pretty good at getting stuff once I get the recipe. I pretty much just ace it. So we'll see how this goes. In front of me are all the things I will need to make this drink and I will leave the recipe and the link for the recipe that I got in the description box below as well. So I'm gonna start with the mango. We're gonna start with cutting the mango. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be cutting, you know, like along the, you know when you cut along the sea, the sea like away from the seed, whatever. You got our first cut and then we're gonna just make lines. Ooh, making a mess. So, down, and then you kind of flip it out. So we're gonna cut this in here. So, down to about. This is really sweet because it's really watery. So basically I'm only making one for now and then later on after I make the tacos I'll probably make some more but um you so depending on how many drinks you're trying to make is how many mangoes you will use so I'm only making one so I'm using one mango my mouth is watering right now I want to eat this mango so bad and then I'm gonna try to see if I can cut down the side This is just messy. I'm so tempted to bite it. At this point, I just want to eat this damn mango. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to do right now. Okay. You know what? We'll be back in like two seconds. I'm just going to eat this mango real quick. Okay, you know what? This is not the time. I'm going to wash my hands. Now we need to get the juice of one lime. So... I'm going to roll it because I don't have those squeezy things, you know, those things that squeeze the limes and oranges and stuff. I don't have that. So I'm going to roll it to make it just soft. This one's real hard. So we'll just squeeze it into um into this. I'm just going to squeeze it into a random measuring cup. Ooh, it's really juicy. Keep it juicy for you. Keep it, whatever that song is, <laughs> Doja Cat sings. Okay, damn, I'm gonna squeeze it. Yeah, so anyway, you gotta get the juice of one line. Okay, so now we're going to, now we're gonna go on to, um, our frozen mango that we will be needing. So you need frozen mango, and we're gonna be using one pound of frozen mango, and I don't have a scale. So we're just gonna have to see. Shoot, a pound of frozen mango. I don't know how much a pound feel like. It doesn't seem like a lot of mango. Okay, so we're just gonna guess the meat, you know? Oh shit, oh shit, okay. I feel like this is, I think this is enough mango. <laughs> I feel like this is enough. Like, this looks like a lot. Okay, so, but then again, we'll just grab one more. Okay, so, we have mango. We need a quarter cup of sugar. So, I have the sugar here. We need a quarter cup. So, we're just going to pour it in. So, we've got a quarter cup. Of, that looks like a lot of sugar. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Like, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. So we got our man frozen mango, sugar, our lime juice. I'm gonna add a little bit of mango, a little bit more mango because the amount of um sugar that is. Okay, and then okay, now that looks like too much. Now I'm scared. I forgot we're adding water. I'm losing it, guys. Okay, whatever. So yeah, we got that. 
And then we need a cup of water. I was gonna use this, but this is for, I was gonna use this to measure the water, but this is for dry ingredients. I don't know if I should use that or just use a cup. You know what, we'll do this. To keep it safe, we'll use the actual cup to measure a cup and hopefully that equals a cup. So, one cup of water. I'm just gonna pour it in. Shit, that looks like a lot of water. Whatever. So happens when you don't have prop proper measuring and measuring utensils, you know? So you might want to scale because she said a pound of mango. So, okay. <laughs> I know I took out that mango, but I'm imagining a pound and I feel like I'm just going to casually add this in there. There. We should have enough. Okay, anyway, um, that is everything. So we're going to blend it in two seconds. But before we do we're going to get our situation ready. So we're gonna take the tahini. Okay, so we're gonna be making the rim cup. Rimming the cup, whatever. Okay, so that should, that should be enough. And then we got chamoy. Chamoy, so we only need chamoy and tahini. Let me try to do what YouTubers do. Okay, anyway, you need this. I don't know if you could see it, hopefully you can. And then Choi, I just got this at a Latin American store. So, let's open this. Yeah. Wow, you're supposed to do it like this. Okay. Okay, so we got our Chamoy. I feel like you should shake it for some reason. Okay, so we got our Chamoy. And I think that's enough as well. And now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to use a mason jar. This is for my presentation. So I'm going with a mason jar. And I'm going to wet the rim of the um, mason jar. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. But I'm, I'm wetting the rim with the chamoy. Okay, so we got it. One more time, you go back in the chamoy, and then back in the tahini. Okay, so we have it. We have a lot. So I think I think I might have overdid it, but you know you get the message. And our next step is to blend blend out our drink, our mango drink, which I think I might have put too much water, but we shall see. gonna be noisy but we'll okay so because I'm not a pro I just blended it and it looks like the consistency you want you want a smoothie consistency because I'm not a pro and I've never made this before before I go and pour it in and all that stuff I'm actually just gonna try it because you know, I kind of just guesstimated on some of the measurements. Muy bien. Delicious. Oh my gosh. I think I'm, uh, I don't know what I am, but I am talented and all that good stuff. So, we're going to go in and we're going to put some chamoy in our rimmed. Damn, this is a little bit ugly. Should I clean it? I'm going to clean it up a little if I can. getting too crazy like you know not that cute when you do that okay I think that's much better so yeah I mean it's a little better but we're gonna go ahead and put some chamoy at the bottom so you know you don't want to put too much because then you're just gonna be drinking chamoy and I think that's exactly what I did but anyway I'm just gonna turn it over there just so it's not too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour some on the side. So you want some on the side. So you're gonna just drip it. Uh oh, I made a mess. Okay, so I'm very focused, but yeah. So this is this is what I did, and then you're gonna pour it in. Oh, I forgot to put some mangoes at the bottom. I want some.
some mango at the bottom, but I'm not gonna. Okay, so you can, it's optional, but I wanted to. So put some mango down there, and then you're gonna pour this in there. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, that side's not presentable because I put too much. Oh, it fell down, wow. All the ones I put on the side are just, it's just sliding. Anyway, whatever, you get the message. Okay, so here we are. Then we're gonna put some chamoy. So we're pouring some chamoy on top whatever some I think we put some tahini at this point I don't know if we do but I'll put some <laughs> I can't remember then we're gonna put the rest of the mangoes on it so this we're gonna put our mangoes in okay so we've got our mang mangoes our real mangoes we're gonna put some more chamoy Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Can y'all see? And then, I don't know if we got tahini. I'm gonna just do it again because I don't remember. Um, and then we got our um, our tambourine straw, and we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so let me move all these stuff out of the way. Okay, so we got our tambourine straw. And we're just gonna put it in there. Does it go this way or the other way? I can't remember. No, obviously this way. And we're just gonna slide it in. And just like that, we have a mango nada. I wish it dripped a little better, but you get the message. I don't know if you can see. Oh wait, I don't know if you could drink from this. Yeah, you can, I'm tripping. Okay, so I'm gonna use this straw. That's why I brought this. <laughs> I'm like pulling it, the end is covered. I'm so dumb, okay. Very good, it's very good. Muy bien. This right here. Delicioso. Yep, as Dora says, delicioso. Another cook with me down in the books, for the books, whatever the saying is. It came out really good. I would say it's time to go make them tacos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Cheers.